Guess who? NYPD, hands up! Ah! That's you guys why I smoke your butts because Ray Ray and the Beast don't even give a what. We don't give a what. Uh uh. Woo! Let's do this. I love the 9-9, and the main reason why is you. Not Jake. Yes, clearly, it's mostly Jake, but it's also you. And the standard that you set for us with your unwavering morals. I'd rather we split up than stay together and compromise who we are. Well, thank you, Boyle. You're right. No matter what happens, we'll feel better knowing we didn't resort to blackmail. I agree. From now on, the only blackmail I want anything to do with is you. How dare you? How dare me? How dare you? I was just trying to help. Wow, your help feels an awful lot like pity. So do me a favor and don't ever help me again. Wow, well, you didn't seem to mind me helping you when I got you your job back at the 99. I didn't ask you to do that. <gasps> you said we were out of peas, you pee hog. I'm a pee hog. You're the pee hog. No, you. You take you. back. That guy. Okay, I could get in a lot of trouble for this, but the big secret about Captain Holt is that I have a flair for the dramatic. Look behind you, Madeline. <coughs> We're actually in front of you. That's my fault. I thought the layout was going to be different. Didn't know how you guys were going to be sitting. I took a chance. Looking for me? Nope. Just taking my gun for a walk through the Nightmares factory. Nice try, cop. But you and I are going to have a little tea party. Am I invited? Drop the weapon. OK, Slayer. Prepare to go to jail for a long time. Now say punk. 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 I said it. What is happening? I got to do this. Or the bullet holes in my butt stiffen up. No talking about your buttholes. No pull-ups. No yoga. No beatboxing. No letting it mellow. No sister act. No life hacks. No multi-level marketing schemes. No calling legitimate business idea schemes. No licking fingers before turning pages. No impressions. No tea ceremony. No cabbage patch. No, no, no park. No running man, movie, or the dance. No unrequested lullaby. No lady style towels. Uh, sorry I'm late, everyone, but trust me, it's worth it. Me and Jake are tip buds. What? No! It's happening. Jake is going to pop the question. He's going to ask me to be his BM. No. BM, best man, is a common abbreviation. No one but you has ever used it. I am so relieved. I thought maybe he was going to ask one of Amy's brothers or ugh, Sarge. Hey, man, come on. Charles! OK, so I know this is a lot to ask. No, it's not. I want to do it. You want to cover my shift this weekend so I can go to the White Plains Mall and meet Daryl Strawberry at the opening of a cell phone store? Yes. That's exactly what I was hoping you'd ask. Great, thanks. You sure it's okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm very happy about it. That'll be fun, that'll be fun. Uh, look at my smile, <laughs> I have to go now. Oh my God! Jake! What do you say, bud? Will you be my BM? Yes, yes, a million times, yes! Are you playing the muffin man or the garbage man? Huh? Do you know the garbage man? Because I do, because I'm looking right at him! Again, five, six, seven, eight! Why'd you stop playing, Garbage Man? I need some water. What you need to do is keep practicing, Garbage Man. I don't have any more saliva. And I don't have any more time.
time for your excuses, garbage man. Now play again. Five, six. I don't want your help anymore. I'm not a garbage man. I'm a muffin man. Hit it, Jeffords. I've been on the phone for six hours and I just want to cancel an account. Yes, you've mentioned the bundles and I don't want home phone service. No, do not transfer me, Rodrigo. No, 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 Rodrigo! So, were you able to cancel my cable? Of course, it was easy. Good, because I have something else. I need you to take my dog to Argentina to be with Adrian on his ranch. Now, I know what you're going to ask me, and the answer is no. I don't have a map of the booby traps, but I can tell you how he thinks. Enough. I'm sorry. I hate to say this, but you're asking too much of us. Is that how you feel too, Sarge? Yeah, Rosa, damn. Good, finally. What? So what would you think of Ropesburg? It's, uh, quaint. It's whack, and you know it. Their number one crime is tricycle theft. There's a bakery attached to the precinct. Come on, Santiago. You never would have taken that job, so why'd you even care that they offered it to me? I can't help it. I'm competitive. I have seven brothers, and I was the only girl. I always had to fight for a place at the table. Well, you're not the only girl at the table anymore. We work in a police force full of dudes. We gotta have each other's backs, okay? You saying you have my back? Yeah, I got your back. Don't smile, I'm still mad at you. I thought we were having a moment. Moment's over. Shut up. Why are you being such a nut job about looking for a wedding dress? Because being a female sergeant is difficult. I have to work twice as hard to gain my officer's respect, and looking at girly dresses isn't going to help. Plus, it's a new job, and I need to make it a priority. Dude, I get that. But if you want a beautiful wedding dress, you deserve to find one. Look, there are no cops around. Nobody's going to see you. Why don't we just take our break now? Try one on, OK? OK. OK? OK. OK? OK. Hell yeah! They are closed. We will come back later. Yeah. Amy, stop. I had enough water. I can hear it sloshing around inside you. I know, but I still can't pee. I'm too stressed. You need to calm down. You know what helps me relax? Kicking stuff? Absolutely. So, what or who do you want to kick? That guy looks pretty kickable. Hey! I'm not kicking anybody, okay? I just need, like, some calming noises. Okay. Close your eyes. Okay. Blub. 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 What is that? It's a babbling brook. Blub. 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 You know what? It's pretty good. Thank you. Everybody, shut up! Blub. 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 You, Terry Jeffords, are pregnant. The names are baby names. The dentist, an obstetrician. And the money is for baby things. Like diapers. <laughs> what are you talking about, man? That is crazy. Man. Damn it, Seth! Does anybody else know? No, just you and your wife. And Crash, that's what I think you should name the baby. Works for a boy or a girl. Listen up, Jake. We just found out Sharon is pregnant, and it's way too early to tell anyone. This is a secret. Do you understand me? Do you? Do you understand me? Oh, this got physical very quickly. This is adult stuff, Jake. Mm. Be serious. Look, I promise I won't tell anyone, all right? My lips are sealed. Good. Do I even weigh anything to you? No. It's like holding a couple of grapes. I can do a pull-up. Terry will teach me. Come on, man. Use your muscles. Use my muscles? Oh, great. Why didn't I think of that? Great advice, Terry. You know what? It's a pull-up. There's not much to coach here. Jake and I really bonded over Skyfire. Watch this. Favorite moment in the series? The, the summoning, summoning of, of Bella, Bella Castro. Castro. Second favorite? The, the Scarlet, Scarlet Feast. Feast. Third favorite? When, when you thought Kalar had been swallowed by the Norlith, but he had just switched armor with Samling, the, the betrayer, in the Battle of Borcastle. <laughs> Come on, sir. The math thing isn't the problem. Night shift's keeping you and Kevin apart. You two just need a bone. <laughs> what did you say? Don't say it again. I said you two need a bone. How? Mm. Oh. Dare you, Detective Diaz. I am your superior officer! Bone! What happens in my bedroom, Detective, is none of your business. Bone! Don't ever speak to me like that again.
Why did I send Kevin an obscene picture? Relax, it's not a big deal. You were just flirting. No, if I were flirting, I would have sent him a scatter plot of educational attainment versus caloric intake in Jacob in France. This is as if I've sent him a bar graph. Our bar graph's bad? It reduces robust data sets to a single point. Get your head out of your ass! I want to apologize for yesterday. Inserting myself into my employee's breakup with my nephew somehow uh, backfired. It's not your fault. I'm the one that made a scene like a dumb crying baby. I'm considering having my tear ducts melted shut. It's not the end of the world to feel things. All we talk about is cop stuff. All right, and that was fine when we were 20, because that's all I cared about, but we're adults now, and there are other things, like me and Amy and you and Marcus, that friends are supposed to talk about. Well, I guess we're not friends then. <laughs> wow, all right, I guess we're not. I know what's happening. I'm finally hydrated, and it's unlocking my brain's full potential. It's too much for me. I'm limitless thing. I don't think water makes you jittery. and does if it's laced with caffeine. <laughs> You dosed my water? You just drank 960 cups of coffee. Oh, that explains why I know talk butter. <gasps> Me having stirk? <laughs> Good luck solving that case. <gasps> why would you drink more? My brain wants its fast juice. I swear to you we are gonna catch Doug Judy. Yeah, I know. We did it once, we can do it again. No, we will catch him. More importantly, thank you. I know how hard that was to make that choice and let him get away. No, it was an easy call. I know how much this task force means to you. It means so much and it's been so stressful and it went so well. Seriously, look at me, I cannot stop smiling. How do people do this with their faces? Fight! Struggling basket! Oh. Oh. Woo! Oh. Yeah! If you mess with Grandma, you're gonna get the basket. Oh. Charles, you punched him in the nards. Oh. Yeah, Nana fought nasty. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like those tickets. I didn't hear no bell! Ah. Hey there, Nicolaj. It's your papa. If you're watching this, something bad has happened to me, but I want you to know that I love you very much. You want to stop filming yourself and help me with these mini items I'm carrying? Sorry, I was making a video for my son, you know, in case I never see him again. Do you not do that for your kids? Of course I do. <laughs> I make those kind of videos all the time. Huh. In fact, I was about to do one right now. <laughs> hey, girls, it's me, Daddy. If you're seeing this, I'm dead but I want you to know that I love you now and forever. Okay, time for a lullaby sung in your native Latvian. Lego, Lego, Lego. Yeah, yeah, lullaby time, look. Go to sleep, daddy's dead, but his ghost always watching. What the hell are you guys doing? Charles was right, I couldn't handle yoga. Well, we're here now. I'll get a couple of officers to help lift you up. No need, I can handle this. Charles. There's no way you can lift me. Yoga's given me great bone strength, Terry. So get ready. You're about to enter the bone zone. Not a thing. Shh. Love lift us up where we belong. Where the eagles cry on a mountain high. You lied to me, Doug Judy. Gotta be honest, I'm pretty disappointed right now. Sorry I had to go down this way, Peralta. Maybe we could have been friends in another world if I hadn't just fooled you like a little bitch. <laughs> that was so much fun. Oh, man, you sounded really scary. No, 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 it was all you. The tremble in your voice sold it. Just do whatever you want. I just made that up. Oh, I was so in the moment. Dude, seriously, you are a great hostage. Thanks, Judy. You're a great hostage taker. <laughs> what? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Mm. Uh, yes, yes, sir. sir. So, how's it going? What do you want, Terry? Are you just here to fan some more flames? No, I'm just here to see who's losing and therefore has to wear this hat I made that says, more stupider. <laughs> Fine, yeah, I'm fanning flames. Fan, 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 Santiago. Don't call her Santiago. Call her Virginia Slim, because I'm smoking her. Damn, Ray. You're not Richard Wilcox. That's my grandpa. He died a couple weeks ago. I'm just here cleaning out his shop. Oh, no. Something's wrong here. Oh, you think this punk is lying, partner? No. Something is wrong in my intestine due to the street meat. We must go now. OK. Oh. Okay, all right, I'll drive. Sir, 
sure we could find a public bathroom. No, this is a very private emergency. Ah! How are insects gonna help us? There weren't any in or around the body. Oh my God. You still think forensic entomology is all blow flies and screw worms, don't you? <laughs> package was delivered to my desk downstairs addressed to the 99th precinct, attention sergeant, but it's not for me. It's a book. Sounds like something you'd order. <laughs> How to please your wife, 100 tips to take your sex life from blah to ah. Uh... It's not mine. Terry doesn't order books online. He supports local bookstores. They're dying, Amy. You don't need hope to succeed. You are the most capable person I know. Thanks, Terry. Now let's get this mole to Jake and Holt. <laughs> What are you doing? I thought you could carry me again. It was very comforting. Okay. Thank you, Terry. I love you. I was thinking of you. I was thinking about how stupid your face is. That's it. I'm licking all these bagels. You get none. Oh, you think your spit's going to stop me? Brother, you don't know me at all. Mm. Oh, not to brag, but Scully and I have a combined total of 14 arrests. Would have been 20, but we only got 14. That's not enough arrests. Well, no one asked you. We're on strike. Hunger strike. You're eating potato chips. Chips don't count. My doctor said they have zero nutritional value. We want meatball subs. You had no right to take ours. Screw this. Gina, the DA needs copies of our interrogation transcripts from the Adams case. Gina? 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 Sorry, I was playing Quasi Cupcakes. Oh. You got category I9C3G6. I9C3G6. Is that as good as it sounds? You have a robust sense of self and are well suited to leadership positions, characteristics, strength, determination, tenacity. Yes, I suppose that's accurate. They do call me Tenacious Ray down at the country club because for the past 10 years I've been suing them for discrimination. I'm very pleased with this assessment. You should be. I took the test, too, and I also got an I9C3G6. What? We got the same score? It's just crazy how accurate this thing is. Yes. Crazy. Young Jeezy, take the wheel! Freeze, punk! Yeah, freeze, punk! Jaina, where did you get that gun? Lost and found at the storage facility. They have boxes of them. They're everywhere. What the hell, Gina? You ruined my entire senior year. How could you do that to me? Jake, I was only trying to help. You were hanging out with those guys and getting close, and they weren't good people. Do you know why Brandon wasn't at the reunion tonight? I don't know, probably because he was shooting a beer commercial where the whole plot was that everyone wanted to sleep with him? No, because he's on parole. He's not allowed to leave the state of Delaware. Oh, OK, so that's obviously a bummer. But I wasn't going to end up like him. You were starting to. You wanted to steal a van with them. And I told you not to, and you weren't listening to me. I mean, what would have happened if you got caught? I don't know. You would never have become a cop. Yeah, I'm the reason you're a cop. I'm your origin story, dude. You can't be mad at me. I feel like I'm still pretty mad. Peter Parker wasn't mad at his spider. Yeah, but they weren't best friends before the bite. And it still doesn't explain how you let everyone think I was the tattler for 20 years. Well, I didn't want to lose our friendship. I was being weak. I'm sorry. <sighs> OK. Open it. Good afternoon. May I help you? Uh, we're here all the time. Get familiar with these faces or get familiar with the unemployment line. I'm so sorry, but I have to check you in. I need a member number. I don't have my member number with me. It's too bad you can't just use my Amex Black card. Oh, that's great. We can use that. You can. Well, you think I carry around my own wallet? <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. If you could just give me a name, that would be great. I'll give you a name. Pomplamoose Lacroix. I'm so sorry, Miss LaCroix. You're not in the system. This is ridiculous. You know what? Call Daddy. Daddy will get us in. Daddy, the man won't let us into the club. Oh. Yes, Daddy. No, Daddy. No. Daddy wants to speak with you. Gladly. Hello, Daddy? Yes, Daddy. No, Daddy. Daddy. Oh, well, good question, Daddy. Daddy wants to get this young man fired. What is your first and last name? Aren't you forgetting something? Uh. No! Pay your bill! Damn, 
Damn, who raised you? Ah, ah. Thought it would be louder. It's highly directional. If we were pointed at you, you'd be in incredible pain right now. Why is this happening? I can taste my thoughts! Oh, no. Did you watch Grimm again last night? You know it gives you nightmares. I'm sad. Jason died this morning. I'm sorry, that's terrible. Is he a friend of yours? He was my dog. Oh, okay, so no big deal then. What's going on? I rented this entire bar so you and I could celebrate with no people anywhere near us. Probably should have hired a bartender, though. I have no idea how to make drinks. This is incredible. It was all Charles's idea. I told you I knew you, Roro. Thank you. <laughs> but never call me Roro again. Oh, but I will. I've earned this. Happy B Day, Roro! Woo! I wasn't sure if you'd get my message. Charles, it was kind of hard to miss. Oh, God! I didn't know what to do. You said we weren't allowed to talk at work now that we're knocking boots. Ew, gross. Listen, my ex wife's throwing an engagement party this weekend, and I was wondering if you wanted to go as friends. No, Charles, just because we have secret, shameful sex does not mean we are friends. Here, get friends. Let's go as bone bros. Uh, oh. Nice jeans, Boyle. Those are surprisingly low-waisted. Eyes up here, Gina. I'm more than just a piece of ass. Oh. <laughs> not bad, not bad. An unlicensed cab driver's been picking up tourists. Driver takes the Vicks down under the BQE, robs them at gunpoint, leaves them stranded. Unfortunately, because they're tourists and our perp is not Caucasian, we don't have a clear idea of what he looks like. He was either Latino, Arab, or Mexican. Either way. Very Muslim. We'll go undercover, dress as out-of-towners, hope the perp picks us up. Don't worry, Sarge. I'll nail this guy. I can't believe I was just briefly attracted to Boyle. Ooh. Ooh. Neat sweater. Ugh. Did you tell Jake yet? Nope. Really? You told him about his own surprise party? Mm-hmm. First chance I got. But I had tons of chances to tell him about what happened six months ago, and I didn't. Why not? I didn't want to hurt your feelings. Ew, pump the brakes, Charles. Because I'm terrified of you and what you'll do to me. Oh, that's sweet. Well then, sounds like our nightmare is finally over.